Was it your job to get DeVito on board for It's Always Sunny? Yes. So how did that one that was even on? That was even more tenuous because okay. we had... Uh, we'd only been on the air. Uh, I think we only aired seven episodes. Okay. And um, we got a call that, uh, you know, they put us on in the middle of the night. It was sure. like 11 o'clock at night, um, and they didn't promote it in any way. And I got a call from John Langreff, who runs the studio. Mr. Still runs FX. The studio. Oh, yeah, yeah, the best. Yeah. And he said, oh, you know, nobody watched your show. And I'm like, yeah, well, you didn't promote it. <laughs> and, Get uh, out. Nicely done. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And he said, uh, well, you know, here's the thing. We're going to pick you up for season two. Thank you. Uh, but we're not going to promote it because we don't have a big marketing budget. But what we'd like to do is bring on an actor uh, of some uh, of some note, somebody yes. with some cachet that can maybe bring some attention to the to the show. Uh, and he said, what, what do you think about Danny DeVito? And I said, we love Danny DeVito, but we don't want him on the show because, you know, and nothing against Danny. It was just like you, you don't know if it's going to screw the dynamic, you know, of the of the chemistry of the show. Right. And uh, he said, great, well, then you don't have a show. And we were like, okay, get Danny DeVito on the phone as quickly as possible. <laughs> <laughs> and then what actually what happened with Danny was I, I went to his house. And he's like, Danny wants to meet with you. I was like, I'll, I'll go meet with Danny. So I drove over to his house and sat down. And he's like, so what's the character? And we hadn't talked about what the character yeah, was. No, yeah. But I was like, well, I got to... I got to do something. So I just made something up on the Come spot. On. You spitballed Danny DeVito's character for It's Always Sunny. How, yes. However, it's not exactly what it turned okay. into, but it was it was something that he responded to. But I remember the moment where we had him. Um, we were sitting, I was sitting there uh, at his table and his daughter, Lucy, comes in, mm -hmm. who's now uh, uh, in her 30s. But at the time mm -hmm. she was, I don't know, in high school. Mm -hmm. And uh, she goes, oh, hey, dad. Oh, hey. Oh, I, Rob, I love your show. And then walks out. And once you have the kids, That's you it. got the parents. That's it. That was it. Come on. That was it. Now, you had to be sitting there thinking. Oh, I know. She, she walked out. And then he looked back at me. And I looked back at him. And I said, I got you, bud. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, I know. Did he think, like, do you plant something like that? Or you planted it something with her, his daughter? My gosh. I don't know. What a bonus. I, yeah, it worked out. Now, we had him here, uh, Rob McElhaney, here on the Rich Eyes Show. We had him here a few weeks ago. Um, and... He, we, we play something called Celebrity True or False, where we just grab stuff from the internet or in articles previous and say, hey, is this true or not? That he that he demands or, or one of his requests is to have a trampoline on set because he loves to trampoline. Have you ever seen him trampoline, Rob? Did he say that was true? He did say that was true. Did he not, Chris? He did. did. He said that's true. Right. Gets him into the mood. He gets, gets, him the, the, mood. gets the blood going. Yeah, gets the blood flowing. I have seen said. him on a on a trampoline. And uh -huh. in fact, he had a trampoline. I'd never seen this before uh, in his house in mm -hmm. LA. He yeah. had a, a this big backyard and he had a trampoline built into the ground. So the ones above ground, you see, in fact, we have one at our house because the kids love it, but yeah. you have like netting around yes, it so that course. the kids can, okay. Yeah. So back in the day, uh, I remember kids had those, but they didn't have the netting because it was the 80s and they just didn't care, I guess, if kids got hurt. I don't there, know. Was, there was uh, some regulation issues, I think, yeah. back in the 80s. So, so yeah. ours has this netting. Danny's was on the ground, and I think that there was this, uh, this thought that maybe you couldn't get hurt by just flying 50 feet into the air and then landing directly on the ground. <laughs> but you could, and I remember doing it and, and falling off, and Danny laughing hysterically and I was like I think I broke my arm and he was just like cackling on the ground and I realized that I think he put it in there just to get people to jump on it and laugh at and, them and break their arms and break their arms oh my turned God. out it was just dislocated for more of the Rich Eisen show tune to audience channel 239 on direct tv for free on br live or download the Rich Eisen show app